Today, let's talk about stocking stuffers. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Sarah. Here on my channel, I love to provide content for moms, especially working moms and homeschooling moms, and how to create balance that sticks. But I do love to occasionally throw in a gift giving video because you guys seem to really like those. And so today I'm gonna be sharing what I'm putting in my three daughters stocking stuffers. I have three girls, ages seven, five and two and so let's jump into what we're putting in their stockings this year now i recently put out a video of what we are giving them for christmas and i talked about how we don't do a lot of quote unquote junky gifts but we do throw a couple junky gifts into their stockings i'll have that video linked below as well as a whole playlist of christmas gift idea videos in the description but a couple what i would call more junkier gifts that we put into their stockings are First of all, LOL dolls. Now I will say my girls play with LOL dolls every single day. They play with them in their doll houses. They play with them with Play-Doh, slime, kinetic sand. They love LOL dolls. So although they are what I would consider more junky gifts, they do play with them. And so they're each getting one of these fashion show LOL doll balls. I got one for our two year old as well. She does not put things in her mouth and she really loves being like her big sister. So we're getting to a point now where I can do a lot of the same things for all three, but you will notice there are some things that I have to kind of modify for our two-year-old. Another quote-unquote junkier item they're getting in their stockings are these Shopkins. Are They're the Real Littles Shopkins. They get two Shopkins and two mini packs in these. My girls also play with Shopkins almost every day. They love to play with Play-Doh. They also are getting uh, kind of crazy gift for Christmas that has to do with Shopkins that we had to buy on eBay. Watch the video I mentioned earlier to know what that is. So this will kind of be a precursor to that gift. And so they're each getting one of these little Shopkins in their stocking. I like to sometimes throw in some sensory items as well. So this year I got each of the girls a pack of the this Crazy Art Softy Dough Glitter Play-Doh. They love Play-Doh and they'll love that this is has glitter in it. And like most kids, they love slime, but we do not buy it very often. So I thought I would get a pack of this butter mini slime and distribute them throughout each of the three stockings. These got really good reviews on Amazon. They're really little. Um, they should be really soft. And they also came with little mix-ins that they can mix in, which I'm sure they'll love. I might hate cleaning it up, but they will love playing with it. And then a couple other fun things we threw in there. I saw these at Walmart, these different magnetic pocket games. I thought these would be great in the car, on road trips, or in a restaurant kit. So we got the checkers, which is little sugar cookies, and gingerbread men, which is super cute. And then also a candy cane and wreath tic-tac-toe. Great size, very portable. These will be super fun to play with them. And then since our two-year-old um, doesn't really get how to play those games, I just got her this little Seek and Find book, which we like to do with her. This will be great also for in the car or at restaurants. And then I don't even know what I clicked on. I think some like BuzzFeed article about the best Christmas toys. And I just had to buy, which is dumb, but I had to do it. The Silly Poopies Hide and Seek. My girls have been super into hide and seek. But I thought this would be fun because you hide this rainbow poop and it makes noise and talks to you so you can try to find it. So I thought it would be a fun thing that's a little less competitive um, because maybe my husband or I could hide it and then they all have to work together to find it. I'm all for finding things to do inside the long winters. We live in Minnesota, we're stuck inside a lot. So this will be hilarious to them and I'm sure a lot will have, will provide a lot of hours of fun. Yeah, it's dumb, but kids love dumb. So there you go. My kids are super into art. They love to craft and color all day long. So while I was at Walmart, I picked up a different pack of crayons for each girl. We got the colors of the world for skin colors, which is awesome. My seven-year-old loves pastel colors, so she will love the Colors of Kindness box of crayons. And then I also got this Bold and Bright construction paper crayon. So I'm guessing these look really good on black paper, which we have a lot of black construction paper because only white usually looks good on it. So they'll love these. In the Target dollar section, I saw these oil and water 
different like fidget toys and we've had one of these but it ended up breaking and so I love having these in the car just as something for the kids to look at. I remember being mesmerized by these as a kid myself and they were very affordable so I picked up three of those so each girl can have one to look at on long car rides. And then whenever I can add in some books, I like to do that. So I got them each one of these paperback picture books that are great. You can bend them and put them in a stocking. My seven-year-old is obsessed with Bluey, so I got her this Granny's one, which she's gonna love. My five-year-old's still very obsessed with unicorns and stickers, and this will definitely not disappoint. And then my two-year-old loves Peppa Pig, so I got her a unicorn Peppa Pig book. And then we have a lot of bows, but I'm just a sucker for girly things apparently so I just think bows and hair accessories are a perfect stocking stuffer for girls. I got them growing up and so at Walmart I picked up a pack of different bows. For each of my girls I tried to get things that were way different than what we have already so these are very like shimmery and kind of tie-dye colors. These are bigger and velvet sequin and rainbow. And then these were kind of fun and there's some different like clips in there as well. And then my seven year old loves stretchy headbands. I don't know why, probably because she has really long hair. And so I got her a pack of those. And then of course the stocking is not complete without some practical items that moms love to put in there. Kids don't really love, but actually my kids kind of do love these, but not all kids are crazy over lip balm, chapstick. So I got a three packs of the Sierra Bees on Amazon. It's natural chapstick. My kids are obsessed with chapstick and they need it. Their lips are constantly chapped in the winter. So they each have a pack of these so they can have like one in their room. We have a drawer full of them. Keep them in the car all over the place. And then of course with all the Christmas candy and Christmas treats we can have new toothbrushes to get our teeth clean. I got my bigger girls these LOL doll one minute light up timer toothbrushes by Firefly. And then I got a Sesame Street pack for my two year old. And then for the last practical gift, I don't know about you, but I find band aids, bandages very expensive and we go through a lot of them. My two year old usually cannot be consoled until she gets a band aid when she's hurt. And she's so cute and she's my baby, so I give them to her. <laughs> and they can be very expensive. And so I decided this year, this is probably crazy. This is just a taste of how neurotic I apparently am. I got these like generic, I guess you could say, band-aids on Amazon. I got two packs. They come with tons and tons and tons of really cute band-aids that are not characters we know necessarily, but are really, really cute. And then I got these little containers. And so the plan is to put a bunch of band-aids in each container. My bigger girls can have one in their room because, I don't know, they always seem to get hurt in their rooms and want a band-aid and then I'll keep one in my purse and then one for my two-year-old. And so they will each get a pack of bandages in their stocking and I didn't have to spend tons and tons of money and hopefully these will last a year. That would be great. And then I also like to get my kids some slippers. I actually just bought our two-year-old some new slippers like a month or two ago because her feet were really cold and she kept taking her socks off. I can only find one currently, so that's life with a two-year-old. But I also got our two older daughters a new pair of slippers because theirs are totally worn out. So I got this LOL doll set for our seven-year-old and this Disney princess set for our five-year-old. And of course, you need to have a little bit of candy and goodies in their stocking. My kids are inundated with candy from family, so I don't put a lot in here, but I did put a single hot chocolate mix in for each girl, some chocolate coins, and I thought I would add in these pyroline cream filled wafers. I thought these would be really good with hot chocolate or just on their own, but my girls will probably adore these. So that is what we are putting in our girls stockings this year. Last year I actually did an epic stocking stuffer video with over 80 different ideas for stocking stuffer for kids age 0 to 10 with just things that are totally random that you might not think of so definitely go watch that video for more ideas but if you like this video i would love if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope you are having a very merry christmas season bye